Lulu Farm Guy here and in this video we're going to be looking at the update to the medium sized warehouse by Pascal Krutz on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac and console. I'm on PS5 here on the rock crawl map and this uh, 10.85 megabytes to download. Uh, it's an interesting one because um, if we look at it again, but anyways, let's talk about the update first. Added hole under the loading docks. So this is the only loading dock we have, and it looks like there's, well, a space under that. So the reason for that is I have no idea. I do not know what the reason for that is, um, because I don't believe they they actually lower. Well, well, let's show you a little bit. Let's get our help window on. And then we'll talk a little bit about this mod um, if you're not aware of it or what it does. So if you come here, we can... So this is for unloading uh, trailers onto the dock. And it has these cute little, neat little things that actual, actual loading docks have. So if you open it, it raises up, sticks out that flap and comes down so that when you have your truck backed up to the very back of this, that little flap goes into the back of the trailer. Uh, do we have a, tr I'm not even sure if we, we have trailers like that on base game. We probably do, I never use them. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I might have to look to see if I have, but anyways, um, yeah, that's the update. It's added that space underneath there for whatever reason, I don't know. It did not say why. Now, uh, where do you find this? It's under sheds, and there it is. Buildings and sheds, $290,000. You can change the color of the outside to whatever color you like on this color palette here that I'm scrolling left and right in the D-pad. Uh, it was 21 slots on console, so not too terribly much on the slot count. Um, front now let's go grab a pallet so it is it's a warehouse and a production so what does that mean well let's uh, grab a pallet i have liftable pallets they it does accept liftable pallets say we backed up we have three doors we have two two doors for trucks and then we have a ramp here to the outside so if you have a forklift or uh, perhaps a telehandler should fit. There's plenty of room to come in and out of here. And uh, the pallets actually go, uh, well, you could, you could just put them down here or you can place them in this area over here. And once you place them on that area, it sees, see, it, it, uh, it takes in the pallet. Where do they go? Uh, they get placed over here. So it transfers them over onto a shelf area and we have plenty of shelf area here. But the interesting bit about it is, uh, oh, it's too heavy now, thousand kilograms. So it's, it's over here. <clears throat> now, um, if we go into the little office space here, as I said, this is a production. So it's just like a production, except it's one in, one out at uh, various cycles. So we have uh, outgoing materials. We should have, oh, where did the flower go? Oh, it's just, it just put them, it, it automatically stacks. So, um, neat thing about this, you can set this to selling. Well, let's see what happens when you do that. I never, I never tried that before, selling flower <laughs> um, not a lot of mods today and uh, from what I hear uh, Giants are closed today's Tuesday they're gonna be closed Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday so we're gonna have like five days of no mods for sure even if they Anyways, yeah, that's the state of the game right now. So let's put these in here and see if that also appears or if it, yeah, see that, 
these those don't go there so if we set it to selling you can actually kind of use it as a sell point in a way it's not going to sell it right away there it says it's it's going to sell it on the hour or you can set it to distribute if you want to distribute your products to other productions so um the gates open like that and then the so let's um open the dock so it's like that now so let's close so I'm gonna go find a trailer and see if I can get this to work all right so I've got a trailer I've opened the back I'm backing it up it actually is pretty uh, not that hard really and I say that because I usually find these things somewhat difficult there we go so it's backed up we'll turn the vehicle off we'll get out I think I've lined up that lined that up very nicely indeed now let's see and there we go perfect I am so proud of my myself uh, there we are so now we have quick and easy access via um, forklift let's uh, let's do that all right so here we got we got a forklift we're gonna go grab a pallet in our warehouse here oh let's they put them in sideways okay let's see if we can there we go all right we got our pallet of flour Now we have a staging area here too, so where you can pull out or stack up pallets. And obviously, this is not going to fit in the truck. Um, so, uh, that's where you'd probably need a pallet jack or something. Ah, interesting conundrum. Um, right, so... Um, yeah, the pallet jack that we do have on console does not work very good at all. Uh, however, yeah, it's heavy. Um, but that's concept anyways. Hmm. Yeah, how do those... How do they do that? Uh, these ones aren't that... Maybe they're... Oh, yeah, they see these ones are less... Don't have the height of this... Uh, this one. Oh, that one's especially for warehouses. Yeah, so you would have this little guy working in amongst here and then uh, the standard forklift would drop. Hold on. You know what? I, m I might as well get one of those. Alright, so here we got a, shall we say, regular forklift and now we can go in here place down our pallet and away we go and there you have it folks um, neat little um, neat mod something maybe you uh, maybe forgot about or something that um, you can use instead of that cheesy fake warehouse in the um, farm production pack but anyways uh, there you have it that's the medium sized warehouse by Pascal Krutz on farming the update to the to the uh, medium-sized warehouse that is thank you all for watching and remember it's only a game so till the next one bye for now